。好，那现在我们来看一下这个 Taylor Series。那这个 Taylor Series， 这里就是 Taylor Series 的定义。Alright， 那 Taylor Series 每一项其实是像多项式的一样，是一个 x 减 a 的 power。Right， 这个是 x 减 a power 一，前面这个是 x 减 a power 零 ，x 减 a power 一 ，x 减 a power 二 ，x 减 a power 三。Right， so this is a power power series that is a special series called the Taylor series of a function f。那这个 Taylor series 呢，它特别的地方是它的系数，它系数是 f 函数的陆续微分，而且是在 a 取这个微分值。另外呢，系数还要除以 n factorial。Right. So what is special about this power series is that the coefficients of each term is the successive derivatives of f. Okay, this is the zeroth derivative. That means no derivative at all. This is the first derivative. This is the second, and this is the third. And don't forget that、uh, in the denominator we have the factorial n in the coefficients. Right. So we're going to calculate the power series of this function f. F of x equals log. Of one minus one plus x. Now I know that I have to calculate the successive derivatives. Okay, 我必须呃算出这个 f 的陆续微分，从零次微分到 n 次微分为止。所以现在我来做做到第三次。那现在我要重写这个 f。首先我把它写成 f of z， 只是换一个名称。那为什么我要这样子做？因为我知道，当我算出我的陆续微分之后。我要把 a 带进这个变数 ，right？ So， 最后呢 ，eventually a 必 z 必定等于 a， 啊，是一个 constant， 啊，就是要代入 ，right？ 我们要代入 ，so we have to remember that after we calculate the、uh, derivatives， we have to substitute a into the variable。So let's do the successive derivative。We start with n equals zero， right？ Remember that n has to start at zero。So for n equals zero, we simply have the zero derivative is just f itself, right? Next, 现在呢，那第一零第零次微分就是 f 本身。那现在要算第一次啊，就是我们通常写的 f prime。f prime 呢，我们就微分这个 log。我们知道 log 的微分就是 x 分之一，但是这里里面呢，再做一个简单的 chain rule， 就知道这个 log 的微分就是。一加 z over， 呃，一加 z 分之一 ，right？ So this is the derivative of log of one plus z. Just apply the chain rule. Uh, whatever is inside the chain rule involves one plus z, but one plus z is simple. 那现在呢 ，n 等于二呢，我就要第二次微分，所以其实就是微分上面这个第一次微分再微分一次 ，right？ So the second derivative is just the derivative of the first derivative. So I Take the derivative. I differentiate again. What is above? That will give me minus one, one plus z. Right. Let's do it up to three. 做到三，三呢就变成是 f triple prime 或者用那个呃挂号的写法。Okay. 这是第三次微分。啊不，这里有一个平方。Right. 那第三次微分呢就变成是二。一加 z 的立方 ，right？ 那等等，那我们做到三就好。那现在我们要考虑，我们要把这个 Taylor series 写在 x 等于什么位置 ，right？ I've der I've written out the three der successive derivatives, the first to the third derivatives of f, and now I have to pick an a because I'm going to write the Taylor series centered at a. So suppose we take a equals zero. 那假设首先我们考虑是 a 等于零，那 a 等于零这样子呢 ，f 带 z a 进 z， right？ 记得是带 a 进 z。I'm substituting a into z. So since a is zero, I'm evaluating f of zero. f of zero is log of one, and that is zero. Next, f prime of zero is one plus a、uh, one over one plus zero, and that is one. F double prime of zero, that is minus one. Last one, 最后一个是 F 第三次微分在零的值是二。Okay, 所以到这里呢，我就发现我可以写 T 
Taylor series of log 1 plus x at x equals 0 就是所谓的 Now, D Xiang, can sum in. Okay, let's look at it. What is the first term? The first term is f of a. And since a is 0, we are looking at this one here. And that is 0. Right? So we first have 0 plus 1 over 1 factorial. Now, the other thing is 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 the other 但是不要忘了有一个x记得这个是一个多项式 Remember this is a power series in x So don't forget the x Since a is 0 All I have x minus a is just x 既然a是0 所以x减a就等于x 那下一个呢是第二项 第二项是2factorial分之1 第二次为分 第二次为分 是这一项 第二次为分在哪里? 第二次为分在这里是负一 right? The second derivative is minus 1 Then in power we have x squared And the third one is 1 over 3 factorial And the third multiplied with the third der derivative Here, this one And the third derivative we have evaluated for For a equals 0 Right, so now uh, since then, uh, is the third is two. Then the power of the third is the power of 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 the the power of the power the power of the power 3 factorial是6 Taylor series of log 1 plus at x at x 0 x equals 0 okay? 那记得这个是, 呃, 当我们选择了a等于0的时候 the Taylor series okay? This is a Taylor series when we, when we pick a equals 0 we are we are expanding the function by its Taylor series at x equals 0. Now what if we are change uh, a to another value? Uh, suppose we want to expand the function at a equals 1. Right? Now, let's say we want to consider the Taylor series of a equals 1 in the first place, not equal to 0. So we need to calculate all of our values. So in this case, we have to recalculate all the coefficients. That means we have to substitute a equals 1 into all the der derivative uh, functions. Uh, 就是把a等于1带入所有的这些微分函数里. Right? So, 第一个是f of 1. f of 1 is the log of 2. Right? 那你看,现在这个跟上一个不一样,跟a等于0的值当然不一样,因为现在我们是在另一个位置算这些系数. Uh, Right, so we are calculating coefficients at a different position at a equals 1. Obviously, the coefficients are going to be different from what we had before. Now, the other is f prime at 1. Now, that is 2 over 1. Right, so we substitute a equals 1, a equals 1 into z. Right, therefore, we get 1 half for the first derivative. The other is the other two. Now, the same thing is the first derivative. 最后一个就是第三次微分了。So now the Taylor series of the same function, Taylor series of the same function, 同一个函数,也就是log1 plus x, the Taylor series, 但是现在是在x或者a等于x等于1的位置。x等于1的位置,现在我们的Taylor series其实讲不一样了。那记得我们回去看,在上面,我们这些项要一个一个的带进去,就是第一次那一项,现在呢,零次那一项变成是log2,再加 
一次项 ，OK， so the zeroth order term is now log two， and the first order term is one half， right？ This is the first order term. This is the first order term. We have to put it here. 啊，第一次为分项 ，OK？ 所以不要忘了，还有一个 x 的 power， 但是现在 x 的 power 不是 x， 而是 x 减一。为什么？啊，就是因为 a 等于一，我们这个 Power Taylor series 是在 a 等于一的位置写的 ，right? So what is in power is now x minus one. Next, second term, 第二项，第二次项是第二次微分是这个啊，但是不要忘了还有这个 x 减一的 power, right? So that is going to be one. Minus one quarter, x minus one square. 最后呢，第三次微分是一个三分三 factorial 分之一。Now the third order term. Right, I need to write the third order term here. This is my third order term, and don't forget there is an x minus a to the cube. Right, 第三次微分变成是三 factorial 分之一乘四分之一乘 x 减。一立方加等等，那化简一下呢，就是 log two plus two one over two x minus one， and this is a minus minus 二四八 x 减一的平方，再加这个是六六是二十四，二十四分之一的乘上 x 减一的立方， right？ So this is my power series. Of the same function, but now at x equals one, and you have to pay attention to this. Now, you see this Taylor series. This Taylor series, the this power of the shape, is x 减一的 power, not like the top one. The top one is x 减 x 减零的 power. Okay, for Taylor series at x equals zero, what we have in power are x, the powers of x minus zero. But when we are writing the power Taylor series for x equal one, then what we have in power are the powers of x minus one. Right. So now let's look at uh what we can see in GeoGebra. Now we, ah, turn to GeoGebra. Let's look at if we put the number of the numbers and the two Taylor series, what will the result be? First, the number itself is log of one plus x. Right. 那这就是我们的原始的函数。Okay. This is our original function, log of one plus x, and in blue. Now, the first Taylor series is the Taylor series at zero. Let's call that t zero. Ah, 第一个 Taylor series 是在零的 Taylor series. 那叫它做 t 零。那刚才我们已经算出它等于 x 减二分之一 x 平方，再加三分之一 x 立方。Okay. 那我们没有算后面的，所以我们其实是在写一个。被砍掉的一个呃、uh, Taylor series. So we we didn't calculate all the terms in the Taylor series. We only calculated up to the third order term. So this is in fact a truncated Taylor series. But a truncated series is usually a good approximation of the original function when we are near the center of the Taylor series. What is the center of the Taylor series? That's x equals zero. Ah, remember this is x 等于零位置的这个 Taylor series. Ah, usually. 这个 Taylor series 呢，在这个位置呢，就是在 x 等于零的范围，它是跟原来的函数非常接近啊，所以是一个很近似的一个函数啊。所以如果我们放大的，会看得出它基本上好像跟原来函数差不了多少。但是当我们离得远的话，因为这个 Taylor series 我们没有写完，所以是一个被砍掉一半的这个 Taylor series。所以在离开 x 等于零的范围之后呢，在这里呢，就差别就很大 ，right? So because this is a truncated series. The truncated term will cause、uh, an error as we move away from x equals zero. So away from x equals zero, for example, here we have、uh, quite a large difference between the power series and the original function. Ah, that. Now we look at another function, another Taylor series. Ah, of course, also cut half the time. This Taylor series, so it's not a complete Taylor series. So we look at what it is. It's a truncated function. Let's look at the second one. That is the Taylor series at x equals one. Let's take a look how it looks like. Is it an approximation of some other thing? Okay, ah, 就是二四
二十四分之一减 x 立方 ，right? So we stop here. We 我们就停在第三项第三次 ，right? We stop at power three because we didn't finish it. So this is a truncated power uh Taylor series of the original function. Uh, so now you can see that it is not so close to the function at x equals zero. Hmm, 绿色的就是这个 t one t one 就在 x 等于一的 Taylor series. 它在 x 等于零地方已经脱离了原来函数，但是呢。它在 x 等于一的地方，呃，绿色绿色在在这里，在 x 等于一的地方呢，它就很接近原来函数啊。为什么？不为什么？就是因为这个是在 x 等于一展开的一个 Taylor series， 虽然没有完全展开，没有完全写完，但是当然在 x 等于一的位置，它就非常近似原来的函数。So you can see that the Taylor series at x equals one, even though truncated, is a good approximation of the original function when we are in the region of x equals one. But as we move away, the truncation will cause errors that become quite、uh, pronounced, quite large、uh, when we move away from x equals one. Right. So this is an example of Taylor series. I hope you can、uh, do your own Taylor series. For different functions and for different a's, right? So this is the example of how to calculate a Taylor series. And the Taylor series is the same for different a's. Also, you should know that if the Taylor series is to be used in different places, you should also know how to calculate it. Okay. Ah. Ah. This. Need to know how to calculate these numbers.